All right, today we've got a 1997 Ford Explorer. Uh, we are going to be replacing the wheel hub bearing and the front brake pads and the brake rotors. Um, so to get started, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take off the axle nut. Uh, this is the four-wheel drive model. The two-wheel drive Explorers did not have wheel hub bearings. Um, so we'll go ahead and zip that axle nut off. Alright, we got the axle nut off. Uh, next step is to remove the brake caliper. There's two 13 millimeter bolts on either side. Just take those off. Once those come off, the caliper just wiggles off of there. Now we got to remove the caliper bracket. There's two 15 millimeter bolts on the back of here to hold that in place. Lastly is the brake rotor, which usually just taking a good hammer to it will separate it from the seam where the wheel hub meets the rotor. Okay, so it looks like it might be so rusted that the bearing and the rotor are going to have to come off together. Because that thing was seized on there. Our next step is to remove the three bolts on the back of the hub. You'll see here, the hub is actually behind the rotor. On this case, this thing is so seized up that the rotor is not going to be separated from the hub. One important thing I didn't mention, if you're going to be reusing the old rotor, do not hit it with a hammer because if you put these marks in the rotor, you can't reuse it. So don't do that unless you're actually replacing the rotor. Um, now I'm going to try to get the whole thing off with the rotor intact because that's just seized on there due to rust. Uh, so there's three bolts on the back. The bolts go through and into the hub bearing. So I'm going to take those three out and then the whole rotor and hub should come out. All right, before I get the bearing off of here, I've got to disconnect the ABS wire. You'll see the new, set, the new hub bearing comes with the whole ABS wire all the way to the hub bearing. So I'm just going to disconnect the clips that hold that to the car and get that completely freed up. Okay, we've got our ABS wire disconnected. Now we're going to try to separate the hub and rotor from the steering knuckle. All we have to do is pull that off there. Wow. Look at that. You can see down in there, this thing was, both of these were just absolutely destroyed from rust. There's no way that hub was coming apart from that rotor. So, we'll just set that aside. We got some rust build up down inside here we're going to clean out before we install the new bearing. All right, we got the steering knuckle cleaned up where the hub is going to sit. You want to position the ABS sensor so that it was facing the same way as the old one came out. On this one, it was tucked behind that brake shield. Go ahead and line everything up. And go ahead and get your bolts started. The wheel hub bearing is all tight. Next thing we're going to do is get our uh, ABS wires all back. This one came with a new clip, so we'll install that.
right, we got our ABS wire all back on. Next step, we're going to go ahead and install the axle nut. Now this is absolutely critical that you torque this to the proper torque specs. So I'm just going to run it down with my gun, but not actually tighten it. Um, as soon as it gets right near the bottoming out, I'm going to stop, and i got to go look up the torque specs for it. Um, and then when it's, then I'll, I'll show you how to torque it correctly. Let me go ahead and get it close, but not fully tight. We got it right there. There's just a little tiny space left. Um, so we're going to go look up the torque specs and we'll torque that down. All right, we, we went ahead and snug down the axle nut, but it's not torqued fully yet. Um, on this particular one, we're going to have to wait until the wheels are back on the ground before we torque them in order to hold the hub from spinning. Or once we get the brakes on there, we can do it too. So our next step is to go ahead and get the new brakes put on. All right, we got our new brake rotors from autopartsdirectu.com. Um, first thing you want to do on these is give them a good cleaning to get rid of the, uh, there's a film on there. Uh, you do not want to leave that on when you put the new brake pads on. So we're just going to clean these real quick. Alright, we got our rotor all cleaned up. We'll just slide it onto the new wheel hub. A good trick is to take a lug nut. Just put it on, thread it by hand, it keeps the rotor in place while you install the caliper. We've got our caliper bracket. We're just going to give the uh, brake pad seats a clean. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get our brake caliper bracket on. Okay, we're going to install our new brake pads. We want to make sure the uh, pistons are com compressed completely on the brake caliper. You can see there they're fully in. Then slide your brake caliper over the new brake pads. And install the brake caliper bolts. And we are all done with one side. We got the new hub bearing installed. We got the new brake rotor, the new brake pads. And we got all these parts at autopartsdirectu.com. Now we just have to repeat the same thing on the other side, and this vehicle will be good to go.